What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what's going on with Luna and what is the updates on the current Luna situation. It seems like we've been talking about this Luna situation for weeks now, but every single day we have some more evolving stuff. The latest news is that the voting has passed and Luna will be split up in two different forks. The new Luna will be called regular Luna and the old Luna, the one that gets destroyed, will be called Luna Classic. Before we get into the video, remember please leave a like, subscribe down below and let me know in the comments what you want to see neck what exactly is going to be happening luna will be forked in two different blockchains oh my god okay it's happening everybody stay calm what's the everybody procedure everyone calm. what's the procedure stay calm. the new blockchain will be reborn and the date's gonna be born is gonna be on may 27th on friday currently it's thursday may 26th about 1 uh, 12 51 p.m eastern standard time so more than likely if you do watch this video it could be that the new luna is already out currently the how it's gonna work? They're gonna give the original amount of uh, the amount of the original coins that the blockchain is gonna be built on back to a lot of the people that lost a lot of, a lot of money in. So the way it's gonna be working, uh, most people are gonna get between 10 to 30 percent of that money at Genesis, and the rest will be airdropped over the course of two years. And if your account was over a million, it'll be over the course of four years, which uh, I don't think is too many people, but there is some people out there. The way it's gonna work is pre-attack Luna holders will be receiving 35%, pre-attack AUST holders, so people that had anchor UST holders, 10%, post-attack Luna holders will be 10%, and post-attack UST holders, 15%. So that means people that actually are holding UST could technically be getting airdropped 15% of that, which 30% of that will be unlocked at Genesis. So you could see a potentially a little bit of a spike in price in both Luna and UST. Now, a big key that I don't see a lot of people talking about that uh, post attack snapshot. So people are going to be thinking that all the way up to the 28th, you can buy it right before the blockchain, the new blockchain is open. But the way it's actually going to be working, the post attack snapshot will be taken in a Terra Classic block at around 359.51, uh, which is um, in UCT time. Uh, so won't be on EST or PST, will be on UCT time. So make sure you, uh, if you buy after that, uh, you're not going to be getting anything else. So if you do want to buy and you're interested in buying it, make sure you buy it before that. Now, should you be buying it? That's totally up to you. As the recording of this video, I literally own Zero Luna. I do have some UST, but I did have it before the attack uh, even happened anyway. And I, was, and I just ended up holding some of it. Uh, just to see what would happen. Now, potentially, I do think we'll see probably a spike before that uh, of USD, and after that spike, we might see a uh, selling off at the new blockchain will be open. But you know, the, the situation is crazy, guys. The situation is so crazy. Like, I literally don't even know what to expect anymore. It's something that we've never seen before and we might never see again. Uh, you know, a $50 billion market cap uh, blockchain completely destroyed. Now, Doc One, the founder, thinks this is the best idea. You guys know my opinion. I didn't think this was the best idea. I thought burning the supply and trying to work on this current blockchain was probably better. I mean, I'm not a developer. I don't, I'm not the founder of Terra. You probably know better than me. The people have voted. There's been some kind of uh, fake voting going around rumors, but I, you know, you can't really, you don't, you don't know. You just, you just don't know. So I can't make this accusation. It's just been uh, really super interesting to kind of watch this whole thing play out and every single day just tough happening you know it's crazy now will the new luna token would it be a good investment will it be great will people just try to short sell it i mean you you have no idea what would happen to the old luna is the old luna gonna be are people gonna start randomly start investing in it in it like we saw ethereum in ethereum classic a while ago and now actually ethereum is talking about using ethereum classic in their blockchain so i don't know everything is still up in the air i'm just excited to see kind of what's going to happen and let's just see uh, you know, let's, let's just be open-minded about it. I am happy that they're giving back some of that money back to the people that lost a lot of money because I know, I know a lot of people, uh, they were invested in it even heavily because Terra and Luna were, you know, some of the, one of the biggest projects at the time. Like, you know, I keep going over this point over and over again, but Luna was like the one project that was really so much, uh, doing so much better compared to the whole market. The whole market was going down. Luna was still uh, thriving and doing really, really well. A lot of people were investing in, in Anchor. Anchor was up to $14 billion invested in Anchor. Now it's currently at around 600, 700 million, uh, maybe a little more than that, uh, which is just crazy. You know, we saw all that pretty much vanish in just a few days. So those are the big things to keep in mind. Tomorrow on Friday, May 28th, new blockchain will be born. You will be airdropped to you those tokens, the either 10% or 30% at Genesis. It will depend uh, where you fit in in, the, in those categories. And you don't have to do anything. If you do have your coins in uh, Coinbase or Binance or whatever it is, you will be automatically dropped to you, airdropped to you. Uh, the one thing I do, uh, I am doing personally, is I move my coins into a Terra wallet just because I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be some, I don't know. I just think it's safer uh, doing it that way. I just don't think 
uh, it should be any other issues, but it is what I'm doing. Uh, so if you're holding still, I hope it ends up well for everybody that's been holding. You may uh, make your money back if you, lo- if you lost money. I'm sorry for that, and I do hope you make your money back. Uh, be definitely really interesting to see. I was against the fork. A lot of people told me that I was wrong, and the fork is a better option. Now let's see, will Doc one be right or? Will he not? You know, I do hope he's going to be right. And I do hope that a lot of people that believe in this project are going to be right. I'm not one of those people that holds people against a certain project. Even if I don't like the project, I just don't want to see other people lose money because I know how that feeling is. And that feeling totally sucks. So I do hope in the end it works out for everybody. And I hope for the best. Let me know in the comments below what you plan to do. Are you going to throw some money to gamble in the UST, Luna, or anything like that? Are you going to be investing in a new token? Let me know everything down in the comments below. Before you leave, let me know if you like, subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.